Hi guys, and welcome back to my video. And this video is going to make a food architecture in which it's composed of low for starch, low for protein, and low foods for vegetables. So without further ado, let's now watch my video. And for the side dish is the stir-fried cabbage with the carrots. So for the ingredients of the garlic bread are the following. So we have here um, bread and um, ground pepper and of course salt to taste. And we have here a butter and garlic inside of the butter and also the onion meat and onion meat. Then for the chicken hamanado, the ingredients are the following. So you can see here the chicken. I use here the chicken thigh and the pineapple juice. Of course, if you want to use, um, you want it to be darkened, then you can use um, slices for coloring. And I use also um, pineapple slices and sugar for sweet um, flavor. If you want a tangy flavor, you can also add salt to make it a tangy flavor. And for the side dish, the ingredients are, um, of course, the cabbage, then followed by the carrots and the red pepper and of course our spices which are um, the garlic and the onions and for my flavorings I, I use this oyster sauce you can also if you want it um, in a regular um, taste you can also use um, salt if you don't want to use the oyster sauce so we are going to do this now continue and make the garlic bread first <laughs> In making the garlic bread, uh, I already introduced the ingredients of the, um, of the garlic bread in here. So now let's proceed in the procedure of making the garlic bread. So first, we're going to, to slice the uh, onion leaves. We have sliced it in thin as you so that it will stick to the um, bread or the mixture, the butter mixture. Now let's proceed to the garlic. And now let's mix it all together. So now let's add the flavor of the So It depends on your taste. If you need salty and then add more salt, if you need a little bit salty, and then just add a little bit. Then I add the um, ground pepper. Then mix it all together. Make sure that you mix it well so that the Salt and pepper will be distributed to the mixture. And of course, we need also the garlic and onions. I don't have the rabbit pepper, so I use um, the spoon because I don't have uh, rabbit pepper. Okay. I think it's done. Let's now move on to slice our bread and put our mixture into the bread. And after that, we'll fry the bread into our frying pan. Then the butter bread or the garlic bread will be in the mixture. Drunk and all of our thumbs went up in the air Sunken in the wind, it sunk to the thunder Rolling over and over, we done Just first and clear our bed, here 
and cut second. So now we're done um, slicing our bread in diagonal motion. So let's um, combine the mixture, the garlic mixture, into our bread. And then we supply it in our frying pan. Or if you have an oven, you can use an oven when you keep the garlic. So we combine now the bread and our mixture. So I didn't have a spatula, but you can use spatula when applying this one. So when you're cooking uh, the garlic bread, you should um, put the bread while trying to prevent the heat of the pan to lower. Like that, put it one by one so that the heat of the pan will maintain uh, the same heat or temperature. Mm -hmm. And in this time, we'll put now our side dish, which is the stir fried cabbage fry. So, earlier I already um, finished um, introduced the ingredients of my side dish, and now let's um, start by um, slicing the ingredients. Let's um, slice first the carrots. Cutting the carrots and strips. Now let's proceed to the cabbage. It's the same process we chop or cut the uh, cabbage. So we already finished um, um, cutting off the carrots and the cabbage. So let's proceed to the red bell pepper. So I only use one or maybe two. If that's me. We got a chuck chuck, better take it and stop. Hey, come drink it till the last drop. So please just let us burn it down this place. And we won't end up in the old of the way. Cooking, stir fry, cabbage, so it's time now cooking. Just so our 
Um, set. No, we tried the battery. So I haven't done that battery because it has the adds aroma. So I'm not even here. I'm sure that it does it. Also, it's healthy, it's healthier than using the uh, really vegetable one. So the battery is already ready. We can now the garlic.
spice cast will go now to the um, liquid solution, which is for the make, um, sauce for the hamanana. So let's add two cups of. We add the same, um, add three tablespoons of sugar. One, two, now three. So, after that, we add three tablespoons of um, soy sauce for coloring. One, two, three. of John Lott pepper, a little bit. Depends on your taste, then give it all. Then the chicken is um, ready to go. Then let's go to the other batch. So we already finished um, frying our chicken and we already prepared the spices and the um, rolls for um, our chicken omelette. So the first thing you need to do is to um, saute this uh, spices. So I use the oil from the oil from the chicken that I fried, so that we can use the aroma and the you know flavor of the chicken. So our pan is already heated. So let's add now our spices. Let's add first the onion. Then our garlic. And now we're ready to uh, finish cooking our chicken hamanada. It's now do the baking. So please, when we play, uh, I follow the flat method. Then, after our bread, let's um, play the side dish. So this is my final product. 
So thank you for watching my video. Bye. See you for the next video.